What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shane Hines. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Welcome to Friday's episode. We made it through another week. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, definitely continue to tune in, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I always forget to talk about. We are in season two. We're over on Heroes Media Group. So we've changed hosts uh, and it's bringing us more people. So I'm, I'm greatly appreciative for that. Uh, so definitely share with your friends. Uh, we've been having a lot of special guests recently. So tune in for the past couple of weeks where we had uh, uh, Kenneth Ellington. We had Aisha Hollins uh, before then, a few weeks before then we had uh, Chelsea Pierre. Uh, and then we have this week coming up, we have Justin Cook. Uh, and then uh, we have a few more special guests. I don't want to spoil it, but definitely continue to tune in. It won't be every week, but it'll be for the next few weeks. But we got we got some people coming up. We got some we got some uh, some company. <laughs> so definitely continue to tune in uh, and uh, listen to us uh, rant on Friday about everything else. So this is the non cybersecurity related episode. Uh, we're talking about games, movies, books, all that good stuff. So uh, definitely uh, continue to support us. We appreciate it. But without further ado, Shannon, how's your week? Man, it was good. Um, can't complain. Uh, so, watched a few things out there. Uh, watched the documentary Arnold on Netflix, and it was so so to me. Um, it's in three parts, right? So, I, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. Right? <clears throat> watched it, but they break it up into three parts, and it's kind of goes along with his life, right? So, it's the athlete because he was the bodybuilder, and it's yeah. actor because what everybody knows him for being an actor, and then politicians. So, for those of you that know that don't know, he was the governor of California for seven 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 yeah. and a half years something like that because gray davis got recalled I, rem- I remember it when it was happening but um so it goes into that it goes into those three different phases and believe it or not the one that that i thought would be the better of the three which i thought would be actor was not i thought politician was the better of the three episodes i was like ah, oh, that's interesting right um did so, they go back did they they talk about him uh in the austrian it was austrian right Army? Austria. they go they talk about that that's an athlete so like that's in the okay. very first one because they start like like I said it goes like with the progression of his life yeah. so with athlete it's him talking about you know him being in the army what he did driving tanks and and doing all this other sneaking stuff. out going to bodybuilding competitions yes yeah. okay good I, I want to watch that <laughs> so like because I heard about it but I never heard him talk about it but that, but that's the thing is like they they touch on it and then like it's only an hour for each phase right like so especially for the actor phase like you would expect you could fill up like two hours with that right? oh that's what you're saying it's just too short. It's too short and it's like, he's not avoiding anything. I'll tell you that right now. Cause he even goes into like the affair and all that. And yeah, I'll say that there's lots of controversy. Yeah. Uh, and, even and when he was, was a bodybuilder, there's controversy about that. Uh, on how, like how he was treating people and whatnot or like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he he confesses to that. Like I was arrogant, you know what I mean. The second, the third, but his eyes kind of got open when he got to America, and he wasn't he didn't win right off the bat like he was in Austria. You know what I mean? He was like, oh, okay, but um, but no, it was it was okay. But the politician one I thought was the was the better one for me because it, it's him talking about, hey, I wanted to go in, I wanted to help the people of California. You know, I'm a, I'm a different type of uh, politician, but it's like. <laughs> he had to get slowed down right like that's not how things work you may think okay i'm the governor i could just make these things happen like no you got other people to deal with as well right and he learned that lesson right and he talked about how he learned that lesson and he had to slow down and he had to be patient um but it it was okay um but that was the better of the three i thought which i didn't think would be the case um i tried to watch uh the marlon wayans comedy special man i couldn't get through it couldn't get through it that, that's the one where he's focused on uh the slap right so he starts out with it now, what yeah. he did past that, I don't know because I couldn't. I couldn't. Get it, it, it continues to be woven in there, right? Yeah. So, it, I I thought it was it was okay, um, but I've never watched one of his specials. But like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's never been hilarious. He's he's never been hilarious to me outside of production. Like when he's in movies and and TV shows, he's really funny. But stand up, and he he even admits to it. Like he he took like a, a he was off for like a, more than a decade. Because of I think he said twenty years. Yeah, being being uh, heckled <laughs> by Chris Rock. Yeah, I think he said twenty years, and like it, it I don't know. It was just I, I get it. Like you could tell a story, you can expound on it a little bit, but it was just going too much into it, and it just wasn't funny for me. I was like, okay, I get it. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, I turned that off. I, I wasn't down for that. Um, 
was the other thing I watched? I watched something else. Oh, um, uh, it's about the Duggars, you know, the 19 and counting, whatever documentary, like another documentary, right? Like I'm going to document. Oh, they did a documentary on them? Because I used to watch, I used to watch them and then they, they had some controversy and I was just like, that's too much. So it's, it, it is. They just keep having them, kids. But it's not them in the documentary. It's called Shiny Happy People and it's a behind the scenes. So like there's four episodes to it. I watched, I watched the first three, um, but there's four episodes out there about it. And it has uh, one of the daughters on there um, mainly talking about what was going on in the family behind the scenes and everything and then they got like uncles and aunts and cousins that are on there they're like you know this is not who they were they were lying about this and then they talk about the church that they were i don't want to call it a church but it was a uh, iblp was the name of it institute of uh what was it body was it body life principles or something like that iblp and it talks mm-hmm. about you know their beliefs and and this that and the third and you know, and it's, you know, I hate, I hate to say this, but when you're talking about religion, almost always there's some type of controversy, right? Like you got Scientology with theirs, you got the Catholic church with theirs. Um, but same thing here. Like they got stuff going on behind the scenes that people are just not aware of. There were some things I learned, but I didn't watch a lot of the Duggars, right? Like I knew they had the 19 kids in County. Yeah. I don't think I made the 19, maybe because they, they changed the, the number, right? So well, I, I didn't they know that. the kids before. I got before I got up there before and, and I, I yeah, yeah before I got out of there I should say right right <laughs> so so and that's the thing is that they they originally started out they had a one hour special and then it was another one hour special and then another one hour special and then it was like I think when they first got like a tv show tv show I think it was 14 14 kids and counting or something like that and then it was 19 like I always thought it was 19 because I just never paid attention to them so I just thought they found this family you know, when they had 19 kids, but no. And then they start talking about all the other offshoots of that. Like there's, they start showing all these other um, TV shows with people with a lot of kids. I didn't even know we're out there. I was like, I didn't even know this was a thing, but I'm not a big reality TV person, right? So like, for me, it's like, I know it's all fake, right? And they kind of allude to that, like when they're going through this, but it's called Shiny Happy People is the name of it. So um, yeah, it was it was a uh, it was an interesting watch. Um, I still got to watch the fourth episode, but I got through I got through three, and I was like, man, I was like, this is this is crazy, this is wild. Um, been playing Horizon, uh, Forbidden West. Okay, okay. Putting, putting my hours in, man. I don't know. I I like it's free on the PlayStation Network or whatever they call it now, the PS whatever. But it doesn't have the DLC on it, so I probably won't reach a hundred hours like I did with the previous one because it's not free to me. You know, I'd have to pay for that one, but we'll see. I might get through it and then be like, yeah, I got to play this uh, Burning Shores as the DLC for it. Um, it's pretty good, actually. So I still got to get into it. But I just, I don't know why it, it checks all the boxes, right? Mm-hmm. Post dystopian robots it has it all. I'm just not interested. I don't know why. I honestly don't. But, hey, hey, I don't get that because that is like, it does check the boxes, like you said, right? Like All of them. Yeah. I, so I, I, maybe because it's not guns and it's arrows and different traps and things. I'm playing. I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Like it's going out of style, right? And it, it may be mechanics. It's overly complicated. Like I'm. I am getting old. Because <laughs> we talked about it in the, the first game. Like every time I put it down, I had to relearn how it worked. And I just eventually quit and watched the YouTube video. And I was like, man, that was actually a pretty good story. <laughs> I wish I had played it. Yeah. Yeah. And and there there are some things that tie in from the previous one. So like you'll come across people that you meet in the first one. So if you pick up the second one, uh, you'll be like, okay, so they know them from somewhere else. Like yeah, they they got them in the first game is when you came across them. But I don't think it. Um, well, what's my man's name from uh, John Wick? He passed away. Uh, what Lance Reddick? Yeah, Lance Reddick is is a, a a pretty big character. So it's like one of his last performances. It looks just like that's was eerie about like their engine. I think it's called the Decima engine. Um, the Gorilla Games made for uh, for um, Horizon is amazing. It does. So look- it even has the graphics. Like it has everything. It it one hundred percent looks like them. Like when I played the first game, like I was not aware of that, right? And apparently that guy Lance Reddick was very big in the video games. Apparently too, I started reading up on him a little bit afterwards, and he was a gamer. But uh, when I saw him, I recognized the voice because his voice is very recognizable. And the character, I'm like, yo, that looks just like him. You know what I mean? It's crazy how like I got I just gotta I just gotta play it. Like after Breath of the Wild, I have to come up with a plan. 
it will be Horizon. I will play Horizon. Well, you say that, but like, remember, you got other stuff that's, that's dropping soon, right? Like, I, you played Spider Man, right? Or do you didn't play Spider Man? I'm trying to remember. I did. I did. I didn't. I didn't finish Spider Man. I pivoted and I finished Miles Morales. Okay. Well, I uh, well, I think the new one got pushed anyway. I think it's October now. I thought it was September before. Yeah, October twentieth. October is twenty two. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that is a few months away. So I can't say. Well, you got another one coming up soon, but depending on how much time you take be my next because i don't buy a lot of games when they first come out like there's a i have a massive backlog of those things like they become free by the time i play them um excuse me that i need to catch up on um but like i will definitely pick up zelda when it drops right there's there's certain things where i know they're going to be amazing regardless so zelda got picked up on day one um uh, i'm sure uh that when the next grand theft auto comes out picking that up on day one right like those type of like iconic things that drop so spider-man I'm picking up on day one um but anything between is fair game like if it, if it popped on like you said i think it's what's it cost like playstation premium or whatever i don't like they got tears and nonsense i'm paying for every month uh which is a lot more expensive than paying for the annual uh subscription so i'm gonna have to flip all these subscriptions to annuals because I, I i get random emails it's like oh thank you for your purchase like what purchase i'm like oh i, I read up it's all it's like a uh, a third of the price of a game if you pay per month. <laughs> well, it's way too expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna jump on Horizon because like it's 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 all the the things. I just don't know why I don't I'm not into it. So I like I I will tell you I'm I am not as much into this one as I was with the first one. But again, I put a hundred hours in, and so like there are some some times where I'm like, okay, it's getting a little uh repetitive right now you know what i mean but that's because i'm the i'll do the side missions or whatnot like i see a a green exclamation come up i'm like that's a side mission let me go see what that is you know what i mean let me go see what that is i'll I'll run the side errands and do all that so it can get repetitive when you're doing that you're you like to you like to mainline it like except for zelda because i keep getting this like because because zelda doesn't let you like you get a a something that lets you know this is a side mission zelda is like i'm going over here and then you're like and I wandered off. <laughs> for but I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna get back to the main mission. <laughs> that's so, that's, kind of, that's kind of how I feel with this. Like, I, yeah, I, I will definitely mainline that one because I, I mainline Miles Morales. There's so much stuff I need to do in that game. I was like, nope, I can't do it. I just gotta get through the story. And Miles Morales is so much shorter than Spider Man, man. Maybe a, maybe twenty hours if you do all this stuff. So like it was like a nine or a ten hour mainline mission. So yeah, I, I I don't know, man. Like I think you would I think you would like it. Like if you subscribe to the PlayStation Premium or whatever the name is, like it's out there for free right now because that's what I did. I downloaded it when it's free. Um, again, no DLC, but I think I'll be fine without it for right now. Um, yeah, how much is the DLC anyway? Like twenty bucks maybe. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to look again. It might have been it might have been ten. Oh, okay. That's that's not terrible. I, I, could be, you, I could be wrong on that. Because you buy it and don't get through it, right? It's well, I saw bad. I saw it cost money, and I was like, no, nah, I'm about, I'm not about to spend that. I'll just download this. So, like I I didn't really look at it too hard. Like I saw the price come up on the on in the corner of it. I was like, nah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, because you I'm, probably got. Did you buy like the game of the year version of the first one? So you got the DLC with it and all that stuff. So when I did the first one, yes, it was free on whatever it is, PlayStation Premium Network, whatever it is now. Um, and it came with everything. Yeah, so yeah, I downloaded it was it was with everything. But again, this was this was just last year, right? The game had been out for three years or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So they did the same thing with Spider Man. I already had Spider Man, but like it was Game of the Year edition. I think they did the same thing with God of War, right? And then it was like free to play. So, I mean, I I just wasn't willing to wait anymore because it was free. I was like, oh, okay, free. Well, I say free, but I'm paying for the service that provides it to me. Right. Which I, I, comparatively, I have so many games where I could potentially be playing every week, right? If I was dedicated to, to, to playing, like getting the biggest bang for my buck, it does outpace it, right? It's better than Netflix, in my, my opinion. Like Netflix has a, a ton of things I'll never watch on it. But even if I watch something consistently, it's paid for itself. Uh, like I think PSN and Game Pass and uh, not necessarily Nintendo Online, like that, that I'm still... I pay like three dollars a month for that. And I don't know what I'm paying for. 
because <laughs> I barely use it. Um, You're a big Nintendo guy too, though. It's like I'm getting access to to uh, older games, but I've, I played those decades ago, right? Like like some people are like really dedicated, like okay, I want to play uh, the first Kirby again. I, not necessarily. Like I'll, I'll put it up there for nostalgia's sake. I might put like five or ten minutes into it. If it's like if it's not a if it's not a mainline Mario, I ain't going back to it. So I'll, I'll dabble and then I'm, I'm out of there again. So I, I really am wasting like three dollars a month, but it's not it's not terrible. Like if it was like PSN where I'm paying like nineteen dollars a month, I'm like, I just gotta go. This ain't just doing nothing. I understand that, yeah, for sure. That's pretty much it for me, man. That's that's what I've been doing, watching documentaries and playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West. What about you? So I've, I've been about to do a lot of things. And I've done none of them. So I, I wanted to watch a documentary. Uh, it's like the NSA investigating reality winner is her name. Like, I really want to watch that one bad. Like, it's, there's articles popping up like, like, this should not be a documentary because it's kind of giving away some secrets. <laughs> <laughs> is is it a documentary or is it the the Max movie where they did that? It's it's a combination. It's a movie like documentary style. Like they they they're, they're uh, what is it called when you when you make a movie that has a lot of the elements of what really happened? Because like it it has them acting out transcripts. Dra- like that's how detailed it is. Like dramatizations of, of yeah, it's like a dramatization of of the uh the events or whatever but there's articles being written like i don't know if this should be in here because like this is verbatim transcript <laughs> so it's it's not the movie reality on max it has the girl yeah it is the movie yeah the movie reality okay i i didn't know that so that's what i thought was just like they, they were just redoing a movie because it's got the girl from i've never watched it but euphoria and white lotus sydney sweeney that's her name sydney sweeney yeah i think so yeah reality. it's the same thing same thing yeah but I, it didn't, it didn't, when I saw it pop up, it didn't necessarily pique my interest. So I was like, I might watch that one day. But then when I started to see, like, I think it was like a Wired article on it, like, oh, they're, they're kind of giving away some of the uh, uh, investigative secrets and things of that nature. Like, this is like verbatim the transcript, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, mm, I might want to watch that, actually. Like, like, those, that always interests me only because those people, like your, your Snowdens and Private Mannings and stuff like that, they all had their idea of this was right, right? Like, depending on what side of the fence you're on. Uh, like if you're a journalist, like like yeah, you find uh, that type of information. But if you work for the NSA, <laughs> like I did when Snowden was walled out, you don't like that. <laughs> you're like, hey, oh wait a minute, like I signed the same NDAs you signed. Like you're supposed to not talk about this type of stuff. There's integrity and ethics and things of that nature uh, involved in it. So I like to see that perspective. Sometimes. What were they thinking? Like <laughs> they did what they did because uh, it's so counterintuitive to what I'm thinking while I'm actually here at the agency. Um, so. It's definitely on my list, uh, especially now as people are anxious. But I was supposed to start that this week. I was supposed to watch Creed 3 this week. I was supposed to watch um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons this week. I've watched, I've gotten to nothing. Like, I, I maybe played two hours of Zelda and that was it. <laughs> so, like, this, this, this past week crushed me uh, work wise. So, uh, like, hopefully this upcoming week, I'll be just as busy. Maybe the week after that. <laughs> We will well, see. Well, the week after that, you got you might have a three day holiday. I don't know if y'all get off for Juneteenth or not. But. So I, I got to look at the, the the schedule. I think we do. I'm not sure. I have to double check. Right. I think a, a lot of companies now uh, have that on their calendar because I think we get like 11 days or whatever. Like this is being civilian. It's crazy. Like <laughs> I got all the holidays before, um, so I'm not 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 knocking it. But now I see the perspective, right? Like you'd have the, the the contractors who would be kind of disgruntled at us have another training day or a long weekend or whatever. And I'm like, man, get out of here. <laughs> now I'm on the other side. I'm like, mm, we don't get nearly as much time off. <laughs> I was getting like, it felt like, I haven't do the count, but like maybe 40 days off or something like that when I was working in um, UConn. You got off every holiday. It was a, uh, at least a three, if not a four. So, yeah. So. yeah. But I, I digress. Like now, now I'm the now I'm the cranky guy on the other side of the fence. Not getting that time off. I, I found I found myself at work last week. It was like uh, Wednesday or something like that. I was talking to uh, one of my other coworkers. 
and we were talking about something that was going on. So the, you know, we we work at the mercy of a customer, right? Like I'm on a DOD contract, so the DOD military is the customer, and they were trying to do something that they just know they shouldn't be doing. And I told him, I was like, I remember when I was on the other side of this, when I was still in uniform, when I was the one trying to get over on the contract, I was like, I feel differently about it now. <laughs> and I let him on the other hand, like, you know, the rules, you know, you can't do that. You cannot ask us for this it has to be this, that, and the third It's by the contract, do this. And I'm like, this is how I feel now. And he laughed, like he laughed at it. He was like, yeah, it's different, isn't it? I was like, yeah, it is. It's like sports, right? Like if you, if you were on it's, you're on that team, right? So you're just like, nah, I can't let you, can't let you slide with that. So I definitely get that perspective. I'm not in uh, the DOD space right now, but uh, yeah, you you see stuff like it's it's um uh what is it? It's what they paid for the service and what they're trying to get from the service, right? You're just like, oh wait a minute, like that that's above and beyond what you signed up for. <laughs> but as a customer, I'm like, yeah, we'll try to get as much out of you as possible. So. It's it's, uh, it's funny how, how that works out, but when I hit the lotto, I'm not gonna worry about that. Man, look, <laughs> let me know when you do, man. Like I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, you know, you, you, you it'll be a select few people. Like, hey, listen, I bought an island and I'm out of here. <laughs> here's, here's the code to the uh, to the helicopter Uber is gonna pick you up. <laughs> but make sure you tell this so the air defenses don't shoot you down when you come in, right? Like that type of stuff. Here's the, here's the codes to get into the, uh, to the spot. It's, it's going to be like, you're going to be the new, uh, I don't know if you've seen the first Kingsman, right? Yeah. Richmond Valentine, that's who Samuel L. Jackson was. So I remember when they were coming into, they would fly into his uh, his secret base and they had the air defenses and they had to say who they were to turn the air defenses off. That's going to be you. <laughs> I'm like, it's me, it's me, Shannon, Shannon Tynes coming, coming through. All right. Approved. And then the missiles go down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, I can't, I cannot wait. So we'll see what happens. Speaking into existence, right? Um, but yeah, so I played, I played some Zelda. So I had finally, it, it's crazy <clears throat> how much stuff is in this game. This, uh, it, I think it's like maybe twenty gigs, but it's hum humongous. Because uh, I don't know if I said it last week, but my wife was like, "Hey, I don't see you really doing anything." Like every time I see you play this game, you're just like wandering around, blowing yourself up because you're experimenting on stuff. Like, what is the purpose of this game? So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do some, some mission stuff. I actually went to my first temple and uh and really good. Like they did an amazing job. I don't know if you can, can you hear that noise. That's my dog grooming herself. No, no. Okay, good. They took her to the groomer yesterday, so they they cut off her her winter coat. So now she's like just excessively like grooming herself. It's making this noise. <laughs> like just knock it off. Um but yeah, so I wandered around for uh, at least 40 hours before I went into the first temple and you get things like when you do the temples you get like gear and you get like new special abilities and stuff like that that'll help you throughout the the, uh, the mission but you could do them in any order I just so happened to wander to the wind temple and it was actually really good like uh, it, it there takes a lot of work to get in the temple right it's heavily fortified like there's a lot of stuff happening once you get in there there's some cool stuff the soundtrack is amazing. And then there's a final boss and then you get the thing um, and it aids you through the rest of your journey. I'm like, okay. Like, and obviously, cause it's a Nintendo game. There's to my knowledge, there's going to be water temple, wind, fire. I don't know what the other one is, but good stuff. Like it, it was a, a really funny so it experience. Should be, it should be five of them, right? It should be earth, fire, <laughs> wind, water, hot. <laughs> no heart temple in this one. <laughs> Like, what is your power? <laughs> you're holding the team back. <laughs> was it, it was the name Raj or something like that? Like, you're holding uh, the team back. Ma, Ma, wasn't it Mali or Maui? He was South American, right? No. Uh, I thought Hurt was, uh, he was like uh, Indian or something like that. It was Hurt. Was he? Like, your dude, as you're talking about, I think he was Earth. Earth was the African dude. Yeah. Earth was the African dude. Fire was the American kid. Wind was the Asian girl. Or no. Water. I can't remember. Yeah, I thought he was South American, right? He had the little monkey with him. Was he South American? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look at it again. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's been a long time. Like most people don't even remember Catch Planet anymore. Um, it, it was a time to be alive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like, uh, it's like I watched the Power Rangers with my youngest because um, it was on Netflix. They put all the Power Rangers on there. So we watched like what, the first couple episodes or whatever. And I was like, they really uh, like tight casting <laughs> people. Like Black Ranger was black. Asian Ranger was yellow. Uh, uh, the wow Pink Ranger. Yeah, like they, they did that a lot back in those times. I did not think about that yeah you know what that makes sense so key and peel did a skit with the falcons did you see this one no so <laughs> so <laughs> jordan peel was in the blue falcon and they kept calling him black falcon <laughs> <laughs> so he was like i'm the blue falcon he's like are y'all talking to me they're like black falcon <laughs> he's like no i'm the blue falcon <laughs> so like that that Wow, I never paid attention to that. Yeah, that, that was the thing. Uh, and it's just some other cartoons and stuff like that it did the same thing. As like, I don't know, it's just a product of the '80s and '90s. I want to say because now it's all about colorblind uh, casting, right? Like people are getting upset because the, the Little Mermaid is uh, is, is black now. Or uh, there was really like well, the only one I can think of that there was no controversy was Nick Fury being uh, Samuel Jackson, because everybody loves Samuel Jackson. So they, they did not care. Because in the comic, he was changed to be black. Like was, the original Nick Fury was white. It's the same thing with Kingpin, right? Like it was Michael Clark Duncan played Kingpin in one of the movies. People were upset about that as well. Or Hemdall, so Idris Alba playing uh, Hemdall, or however you pronounce it, uh, in Thor, people were upset about that. Like. Um, that's another character, but where they're, they're starting to change who these, these characters are and what have you. Um, what was the other character? There was another one, I can't remember, but it was a big, like, and when I say a uh, big stink about something, it's really just a very vocal minority. Just like, ah, what is happening? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they sound like pirates. <laughs> because they are. Because they are. But, um, where was I going with that? But yeah, the eighties were crazy. <laughs> so that was, but that, you, but that was like sum it up. But that <laughs> was 90s. like mid nineties, wasn't it? Like when was Power Rangers? Like 94, 95? Like yeah, somewhere around there. Passed, we should have been past that at that point, but I guess not, right? Like I that's what was the two thousands where we, we stopped doing that. <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. Like I didn't even think about that. Man, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how we got Power Rangers, to be honest with you. I think we were talking about Zelda at one point. It was just, Hard left. You were, you were watching. You were watching Power Rangers with your with your kids, or something. right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because because I, I started with him because I thought he might be interested. And he he really wasn't, but because there's a new movie that came out with uh, the Black Ranger and Blue Ranger are uh, starring in it, um, and it has like Rita, the original Rita's in it. Like it just dropped. It's like on Netflix. So I was like, well, maybe you might, you might want to like, might want to see this. So I'll go back and watch the old ones with him. He had no interest. He was like, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> this is your youngest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I used to watch this. I think I was like in like, our Rangers were like third or fourth grade, maybe. Something like that. It was, we were really into it. They had the Green Ranger. Remember the Green Ranger debut? And he beat up everybody in the, uh, yeah. The hilarious. Like, but, he was, but he was one of the other Rangers first, right? Or something like that? So no. he was the he was the Green Ranger and he was evil, and then he became their friend, and then he became the White Ranger. White Ranger, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But uh, but yeah, he, he he debuted, man. He was he was he was crazy. Like we couldn't believe it. Like he jumped in the uh, what was it called? Like the what was their their big robot called? Was it the Zord or something the like board. that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He jumped inside of it and started throwing hands. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, what is happening? The dude was a monster. <laughs> oh, man, it was good times. But yeah, so I, I played a little bit of Zelda. I need to jump on Horizon. Uh, maybe today is Creed 3. It's either Creed 3 or Dungeons and Dragons. Depends on who's watching. <laughs> if I get Shamir to watch a movie with me, it's going to be Creed 3. I, I got to watch Creed 2. Like, I thought about this because I saw Creed 3 yesterday. I was I was scrolling through yesterday. I saw Creed 3 was on Prime, I think is, is what it's Yeah, called. it's on Prime. 
Yeah. And I was like, oh man, I was like, I, I'm going to watch that. And I was like, I haven't watched the second one. Like I watched the first one a while. I might even have to watch the first one because it's been so long. And the then, second one was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad by far, but I, I thought the, the first one so far is my favorite. The second one was pretty good uh, because it's, it's, it suffers from uh, trying to build nostalgia right like because it has drago in it right so like oh man it's gonna be like it 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 is but that nostalgia is from 30 years ago i want to say it's 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 too gone to be as impactful as i think they need they do they wanted it to be it's still a good story like red sonia pops up you're like oh she's still alive (laughs) i was like i was surprised that that was it uh dolph longer um I was like, he's still kicking it. It's good to have him in the movie or whatever. And then Red Sonja popped up. I was like, yo, it's crazy. And then that was it. That's in the song. So, so <laughs> like, it, he's trying to expendables it is what it is, right? Like, yes. Expendables is the same way. Like, I've seen the first one. I think I've seen parts of the second. And I'm just like, I have no interest at this point now. But it wasn't bad, though. It, it definitely wasn't it wasn't bad. It's just, it, it tried to, I think it tried to rely too heavily on nostalgia. And now this third one I hear is uh, really good. So, I think they've they've fixed the formula, and and uh, Ryan Coogler wasn't the director of the second one. Uh, I forget who was the director of the second one. So you had the right Ryan Coogler join for the first one. Yeah. You had the second one. I think he's busy with Black Panther. I don't I don't remember who who directed it. Again, they're weighing heavy on nostalgia. And then the third one <clears throat> is Michael B. Jordan is directing, right? Right. So I hear he does a, a really good job uh, directing it. Obviously, you got. Um, uh, Jonathan Majors is in it, um, uh, and there is some parallels uh, in the in the fighting choreography and stuff like. There's some parallels to anime, not over the top, but just in the the detail. He said they do some really cool stuff with the fights um, that hasn't really been done before. They're like in the action, and you always say that in a, in a boxing movie, like they're in the action. You see them throwing the blows, or whatever, but uh, they they say like. Um, uh, the way it was filmed is is more anime inspired sometimes where you're like really in it like like body blows like you see the like the, the hand going hit the ribs and you see like the ripple effect like it's like playing fight night watching the replays <laughs> you know what I'm talking about we're like oh yeah yeah so like I think that's gonna be pretty cool as well so we'll see I mean it has two two amazing actors uh and uh our star cast is just missing uh Stallone, uh, Stallone. Mm-hmm. that's something that's missing which i hear is not he's he's not terribly missed you know what i mean like he's getting up there he's not really he's not a bad actor by any means but like it's not his movie anymore he's, he's, he's no longer integral to the franchise of creed you know what i mean even though it's rocky like he's not but he's probably still executive producer because I think he's producer on all those too, right? Maybe. Probably. Right. I, I heard that there was a little bit of a falling out, but he's supposed to be in the next one. So, really, okay. he didn't like the he didn't like the he didn't like the direction because it, it definitely did not focus on him at all. But you know, it made a, a ton of money, so they're like, "Yeah, he's down for the fourth one." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you want a piece of this money? We need you to to come back to it. Um, I'm excited. Like I, I'll definitely like I, that's my my number one pick for, for this Sunday. If not, then I watch that. So, and then uh, at some point I'm going to pick up Silo. Like I keep talking about, I'm going to start that TV show. I'm going to start it. Right, it's going to happen. Uh, aside from that, though, just trying to relax. I got to mow the lawn. You know, normal homeowner things. That was me. Yesterday. That, yeah. like, we've been getting so much rain out here in Colorado, man. Like it was crazy. Like I, my lawn has never looked like that. Like I was getting weeds that are just, it, it was probably a good, if I was to guess maybe two feet high, I was like, this is crazy. Like I should not, <laughs> I should not let it get like this, but it was like the grass wasn't that high. It was just weeds that were sprouting up like crazy. Like out here in Colorado, for me, it has been hard to keep weeds out of my grass. Like my backyard is turf. Like I, I, I already turfed it up years ago and i'm thinking about doing the same thing with the front because i'm sick of i was sick of getting down on my knees and pulling weeds and going through the whole treatment and all that i was like i'm doing this every year like what is what is going on here so i was just like no they allow you to turf the front 
now we get into this is a so, old man so, podcast so so i don't have so like here's the thing we don't have an hoa uh per se it is a uh they call it something different but it's still like an hoa um but i mean i doubt any of them are watching this so i probably won't ask i'll just do it and then be like ah whatever you know what i mean um because like when we, when we give us later that's a, a big yeah. expense for the ask forgiveness later as you resell the entire frame <laughs> Well, well, my front, well, my front is a smaller patch than what it was in the back, right? Like it's not, it's not much. It might be, it might be fifteen by twenty, maybe. You know what I mean? Like it's a small patch in the front, but um, even with that, like when I when I first when we first got to the house, um, we went through the HOA for something, and they were just taking forever. Like, but it turned out we weren't supposed to have an HOA anyway, so it, it didn't matter. But they were just taking forever on getting back and they were being difficult uh, with what we submitted. And I was just like, man, forget y'all. Like I'm not spending any more time with y'all. So yeah. So I don't know. It won't be, it won't be tacky. Like the, the stuff we put down costs money, right? Like it looks like grass. It's not just like okay. a putting green. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Cause I saw that I, I, I went, well, I was taking a uh, smear to a restaurant. We actually didn't wind up eating there. It was just too crowded. Like it was like an hour and a half wait ain't gonna happen but uh i i parked and when we got out the car it's a a a pretty nice neighborhood uh looking down the street and there was one that that looked like a putt putt i'm like what's going on here and we look a little bit harder it was like they turfed their whole front so like all their neighbors were just like regular grass and then there was one house that's turf in front but it was not good turf it was like it looked like a putt putt (laughs) yeah no no this the stuff we use is about inch and a quarter inch and a half you know what i mean so like you put your hand in it like it'll it'll wave through your fingers you know what i mean so it costs money but i don't know i just don't want to deal with it i'll save money on water which is sad because last year i had to replace my uh my valve for my irrigation system or for my sprinkler system so i put money into that to replace that because it cracked um it actually didn't crack it like for whatever reason it wasn't sealing like i had to replace the whole unit like i had bought the seals replaced the seals myself and it was still leaking i was like what is going on here i didn't see any visible cracks or anything so i just replaced it um and then so after spending that money i'm not even going to use like if i replace the front all right i don't i don't need my sprinkler system anymore at that point right so yeah we'll see yeah, that's crazy but yeah we we definitely can't reach away with uh kick us out of here like they're they're uh they're very strong over here <laughs> but especially like it's crazy because it's florida right this, this is the home of freedom nah hoa shut that down like it's not free here <laughs> it's the home it's the home of freedom unless we all look the same then we're yeah. <laughs> until we all and mess with our property value take your freedoms away but we'll see we'll see how all that goes uh like today i'm gonna go out and, and and mow the thing but yeah just just trying to relax enjoy summer the kids are super happy uh junior is uh addicted to diablo but it's fine he needs he needs a break anyway working school school has he's he's been doing this thing at school so i will i'll allow it but yeah he's he's got i don't even know how many hours i don't know how to check but if i did he'd probably have 100 hours by now the game just came out i think he had early access on the 19th or something like that no, not the nineteenth. The uh, the sixth. Yeah, there it is. It was this month. So like the sixth is when he got access, and then came out like a couple of days later, or whatever. But he 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 be on it hours. Um, and I just watch. I just watch him play it. I was like, and Casa de is cool, but I again, I'm getting old. This is too many mechanics. It's like it's like this very robust skill tree in these world events. I'm just like, nah. Yeah, one of my coworkers, same thing, man. Like he's putting a lot of hours into it. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I can see it being addictive. Like there's a lot going on. Um, if I was younger, I'd probably be into it. Like, I, cause I, I played a little bit of Diablo too, but I never really got hooked. I didn't have a good enough PC. Um, but like this game looks amazing too. Like it's uh, it's top down isometric, right? So that gives it a little bit of uh, just pull back a little bit. So. Like for me, it seems very detailed. But I don't know if you zoomed in on the characters if they would be as detailed as they, they look from above, from that angle. But um, I say all to say, like, I, I can't see how much better it would look on the PC, to be honest with you. Like on Series X, it looks amazing. So 
Like he's 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 enjoying himself. Um, that's that's pretty much it, man. Like uh, maybe we're at the beach or something uh, next weekend or the weekend after that. Just relaxing. So, but yeah, uh, hopefully by next weekend I'll, I'll be able to come back to you. And be like, hey, I watched this, I watched that. Because the last the big thing I watched was Spider Man, which is still amazing. But uh, again, t- tickets. I got to find out how this movie pass thing works. <laughs> but like the Flash is coming out, right? I gotta, I gotta drop another hundred and some dollars. And go watch the Flash. Come on, man. So we'll see. Um, and that's like, is that this upcoming weekend, or is Flash that the following is, weekend? Flash is the sixteenth. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna see it on premiere. I don't know. This is gonna be packed. I, yeah, like it, it is gonna be pretty packed because the trailers just make it look really good, and like the the preliminary stuff that's coming out is like this is probably one of the best superhero movies ever made. So that's saying something, right? Right, exactly. I'm just, uh, maybe we'll see, we'll see. Because I had to buy tickets like last week. Like I can look right now and probably find like two seats. So, so we'll see. But but yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this episode. So. Uh, not necessarily action-packed. However, the week has been action-packed. Definitely tune in for all the episodes. Uh, again, Monday, uh, we discussed some uh, DDoS issues with uh, Microsoft. Uh, Tuesday, we discuss um, uh, AI kind of uh, figuring out policy protocol for AI. So we talk about the NIST uh, AI RMF framework as well. Uh, Wednesday, we discuss how the, uh, the uh, I guess, government is going to start utilizing um, AI in some interesting ways and we kind of uh, spin off on some crazy concepts <laughs> of our dystopian future. Um, and then uh, this Thursday, Justin Cook, a uh, special guest, so he talks about some initiatives that are happening uh, in my area as well as with his company, Red Sky. Definitely tune in for that one. Um, he is a uh, retired Air Force vet as well. I believe he has 24, 25 years in. Um, and now he is helping veterans on the other side. So definitely tune in for that episode. And <clears throat> obviously this is everything else, right? So please stand to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, share with your nerdy friends. Uh, hit us up at the uh, social medias that go by our name. And then you can hit me up personally, I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, and Twitter. Stay safe, stay secure. <laughs>